Hi, this is Don Romans with uh, FurnaceFilterTalk.com and today I want to do a, a video about the MERV 11 and whether that's too much for your furnace or not. A lot of people worry about that and that, you know, they're worried that if they use that filter, maybe it fits all the bills of what you want, but uh, you're worried that you're going to damage your system. So let's talk about it and uh, set your mind at ease. So first of all, let's talk about, you know, what is MERV 11 and what does it do for your for your filtration. So if you look at, and I'll attach a MERV selection chart on the video so you can see it, but MERV, the higher the MERV, the more it will filter. It'll get to the smaller, finer particulate as you go up in MERV. So generally, to kind of give a, a rough estimate, a MERV 8 is a typical filter you want to use for your house if you don't have allergies, smokers, pets, anything like that. You know, that's going to get lint, household dust, dust mite debris. Yeah, if you want to move up to the next level, a MERV 11 is going to capture things like pollen, pet dander, you know, smoke and smog. So if you got smokers in the house or you got dogs or cats, that's definitely the filter that you want to get. And then a MERV 13 will get even beyond that. It'll get all those things. Plus it'll get bacteria and viruses, cough and sneeze particles and candle soot. And uh, so, you know, that's the, the kind of things that you're looking at. And so your first step is you just got to select what, what do you need and what do you want? What, what MERV rating is, uh, is for you? Uh, so once you've answered that question, if you decided MERV 11 is for you, then, uh, you know, to answer the question, is it too much for your furnace? Is, is it, it's not. It's fine to be in your furnace because filters are designed with the V shape and it allows for uh, air to flow through uh, with ease and not be too restrictive so it doesn't hurt your system um, and it also you know captures all that particulate so MERV 11 is uh, is fine to run if, if that's what the level of MERV that you need so but it does come down to one thing you got to consider is how often you change your filter so every filter manufacturer Every single one of them are going to say two to three months is how long a filter will last. Well, really, there's no way they can know that. It depends on your household, your circumstances. You know, if you have a lot of those things going on, pets and things, it might clog up faster. You know, it depends on the size of your house and how much air is being moved through it. So, you know, there's a lot of factors involved. So I change my filter and HVAC technicians recommend to change your filter every month. Now, I don't have allergies or anything, so I use a MERV 8. So I'm using the cheaper filter, so it's not so expensive to change every month. Uh, if you get into you know, MERV 11s, MERV 13s, you're paying a higher price as the MERV goes up. So a lot of people don't want to change them as often. You can probably get away with two months okay, but I'd be hesitant to go three because uh, you, know, you just don't want to take any chances of uh, causing restriction that's going to damage your your system because as a filter loads with dirt o over time it becomes more efficient so it's going to get more restrictive over time so that's why you you really should change it every month but uh, that's your call you know you can do it however you want uh, based on your budget and what you want to spend and uh, so you know that's your choice so where can you buy a Merv 11 filter well I think everybody knows the answer to that is Amazon. Uh, everybody buys everything on Amazon anymore. Uh, you can go to hardware stores and get them, but my my findings are that when I go to the hardware store, they never have it or they don't have the one I want or the size, you know, so I just buy everything from Amazon because it's easier. Um, and I'll have links in the description for, you know, the MERV 11 filters as well as if you want to uh, upgrade to a MERV 13, now, if you have severe allergies, COPD, your breathing difficulties, anything like that, you're going to want to go up to a 13 because MERV 11 is not going to be good enough for you. And uh, there is a great filter. is the 3M Filtreat MERV 13. That's probably the best MERV 13 on the market. And coincidentally, if you read my uh, reviews and watch my videos on that, it, it can last longer because it starts at a little, really low pressure drop. And I have tested that one for three months and surprisingly, uh, it did okay for three months. So, of course, again, it depends on your household. Everybody's going to be different. If you want, if you don't have any allergies or pets or anything like that, you can downgrade to a Merv 8 furnace filter. Like I said earlier, that's that's what I use. I use an Aerostar Merv 8. 
it's uh, very affordable. I change it every month. I just do it at the first of the month. That way I don't have to remember the date. And so every month I just change that out if I'm not busy testing other filters. Uh, so bottom line is the Merv 11 is a great choice and you can use that filter without worrying about harming your system. You can move up to a 13 if you need to. You can move down to a Merv 8 if you need to. All of them are gonna be just fine in your system provided you do the change out, you know, at uh, a shorter interval than three months. So that's all I got for now. If you would, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help me grow the channel. And if you feel so inclined, there'll be a link in the description for PayPal donations. Helps me to buy uh, things to make uh, better videos, buy the filters to be tested, and also lighting and stuff like that that costs money that I need help with. So appreciate you watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.